So if you're a parent out there and you are struggling and your child is struggling with ADHD, learning disabilities, behavior disabilities, there is help out there. Don't give up. I know sometimes you can feel like this is so overwhelming and at times it is overwhelming. But do not allow the school system to fail your children. Do not allow the school system to fail you because they have to provide programs and a solution or you can hold them accountable. What's up, everybody? It is Jay Hobbs, and you have tuned in to the Accelerate Podcast, the place where we're going to talk about ways that can help you accelerate your life. Growing up with learning disabilities, impulsive ADHD, and losing my mother at a young age, man, it was rough. But guess what? I discovered something powerful. It's all about mindset. And that discovery changed my life completely. Now my life's mission is to help motivate and shift the minds of every single person I come in contact with. So get ready to accelerate and unleash the power within. Let's do this. This is Jay Hobbs from the Accelerate Podcast. You see it in the background. You hear me when I'm talking to you. Let's get started. The school system failed me. Has the school system failed you? Has the school system failed your kids? Because I know I was labeled as a young man. I was labeled as ADD. And if you don't know what that is, ADD is Attention Deficit Disorder. So now they call it ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyper Disorder. And then they threw in a little bit of impulsiveness in there. And I remember a teacher and a principal in my elementary school, after I was labeled, after they didn't know what to do with me because I had all of this energy, they told my parents, your son needs to be on Ritalin. Ritalin back then is the equivalent to what Adderall is. So they said, your son needs to be on Adderall to control himself. He needs to pipe down. He needs to do all of this stuff. My mother didn't believe in medicine. My mother was like, I am not putting my son on medicine. And thank you, mama. Thank you so much for taking a stand and saying medicine is not the option. Because what I feel like is this thing that I was labeled with became my superpower. I'm still energetic. I'm still ready to roll. But when I learned how to hone in, it became a superpower. It became something that I, I became attached to. Now it has its benefits and it has its challenges. But when you're labeled as a young kid and you don't have a mindset yet, you barely even have a mindset to think for yourselves. Your mindset is still being molded and crafted. That did something to me. That did something to my self-esteem. That did something to my learning. They, they labeled me with learning disabilities, ADD, and impulsive disorder. When you carry that many labels as a child, life is rough. I'm like, this? Me? I never felt like I had a, a, a chance for success. I never felt like I had an opportunity to succeed. Be careful what these schools, because they can't handle your kids or because they don't have the proper programs that they're supposed to have, or because they overcrowd these schools and they have 30, 35 kids that they want to be robots. And if your kid is not a robot, Oh my goodness, it's the end of the world. They have extra energy. Instead of coming up with things that challenge them mentally, instead of coming up with things that can help them process their mindset and process how their energy is pointed, they put labels. And then once these labels are on you, you feel like crap. So all throughout elementary, middle school, all the way up until my sophomore year, I carry this label. And because I carried this label, I pressed into it because I didn't know how to react. I didn't understand how to navigate this additional energy that I had. I didn't understand even how to study. Like seriously, I didn't understand how my mind 
should study. And that doesn't mean sitting here for five or six hours. It means you need to take a break. Now, over the years, I've learned to hone in on how to make this work for me. I've been able to train my mindset and that is part of the reason why I am so passionate about our mindsets and shifting our mindsets is because I was able to do this without medicine. I was able to do this because once I figured out that everything was in here, that all the power that I needed was up here and that the labels that they labeled me by were not true, oh man, game over. I'm coming for you, let's roll, let's go. I've been able to write a book I've been able to do podcasts. I've been able to be successful in my corporate career, all because I use the labels as superpowers. And honestly, now I kind of like being the underdog. I root for the underdog. I love being the underdog because my mentality is say that I can't do something. Say that I'm not smart enough. Say that this ADHD is going to get in the way. And I guarantee that I'm gonna prove you wrong. I love the challenge and I constantly challenge myself. I constantly challenge how I think and it adds to how I grow, how I am, who I am. So at the end of the day, I'm actually thankful for the labels because I was able to escape. I was able to use the negative towards a positive. In my own son, they say the same thing. He has ADHD, he has impulsive disorder, all of these things. But because of my mindset, because of me training and digging into and researching how our brains work, how our mindsets work, in order to do that, I had to put in a lot of work. And because of that work, because at that point in my life, I wanted to prove everybody wrong. At this point in my life, it's like, hey, you have abilities and you have skill sets that a lot of people never tap into. This is a superpower that you have to use. This is a superpower that makes you incredible human being. Embrace it, take it. So I'm able to train my son's mindset and it is so fun because I'm able to fight for him. I'm able to understand him on a different level. I'm able to give him tips and tricks at a very young age that helps him start the process of training his mindset. And it can be in sports, it could be in school, it could be behavior based. But to be able to understand that, embrace that, it's been refreshing for me and it's been a great experience for my son and I. Be careful who and what are labeling you and what you actually believe. If someone gives you a label, is there any way that you can take that label and to twist it into something positive? Make it work for your benefit. Is there something that you can grow from? Is it something that you can be better from? The school system, in my opinion, failed me. Because even though I got to a great place, even though in my life now, people would label it successful, because of those labels, it made me feel stupid. It made me feel weak. It made me feel like I would never go to college. I even had a teacher tell me that I would never finish college, and I did. And I graduated with honors, so thank you, thank you. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, Thank you for allowing me to be the underdog and prove you wrong once again, but not here to do that, but just saying, right? I don't feel any better or worse from being proved wrong or being proved right. It is what it is. It's part of life. Life is an experience. Life is growth. But I believe that the school system in current state is failing our children. And you have to make sure that you stay on top of that and that you stay on top of what they're doing, what they're saying, and you hold them accountable. There's 504 plans for behavior. There is IEPs for special needs. I, I had all of that. But if you can get ahead of this as a parent, as an individual, and not take those labels as a negative, but take those labels and start digging into them 
in how you think, how you process information, how you read, how you study. This is something that can be positive for you. This is something that can be positive for your children so that they can learn and grow and be the best versions of themselves. Even though the school system failed me, the school system in the current state does not have to fail you. You have to force your way, force and claw your way and make them address every single issue with a solution on how we're gonna get through this as a parent, as a school, as an individual. If you press them and you hold their feet to the fire, these schools will get better. And I've made it very clear and the school knows who I am and they know that I will fight for what's right. If you are gonna present a label, you're also gonna present me a solution and I'm going to hold you accountable for that solution or we can go a lot of different ways. So if you're a parent out there and you are struggling and your child is struggling with ADHD, learning disabilities, behavior disabilities, there is help out there. Don't give up. I know sometimes you can feel like this is so overwhelming and at times it is overwhelming, but do not allow the school system to fail your children. Do not allow the school system to fail you because they have to provide programs and a solution or you can hold them accountable. This is just a little bit of my story on why my mindset has shifted and how I wanna give back. So if you wanna continue to grow, if you wanna continue to develop, then let's do it together and tune in to the next episode. Accelerate. But until next time, peace.